welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I have a super exciting delivery black eyeshadow palette that I've been waiting for for so long to come through and it is, oh I should show you the outside, the Glaminatrix Sandra Rose. Kayla who's the owner at Glaminatrix, she's amazing, she's a Queenslander. So I love supporting a local business and look, satisfying ripoff. And seriously isn't Glaminatrix like the best name? So I thought what I would start the day off with is a uh, palette bingo first impressions. I did swatch a few of these shades and they're amazing. I also, look how cute the little bag is. I picked up a, another shade. I've been in love with orange shimmers so much. So this is a sherbet. I like this. I don't know. I haven't worn many orange shimmers lately, but I've just been obsessed. Glaminatrix is a brand that I do own a few of their eyeshadows from already. And I'm just going to join this little baby in. Here are the ones I already own and they are beautiful. They're a bit delicate and I have accidentally, small palettes and me don't really get along and this has been knocked down, but they've survived. They have been repressed by uh, my terrible needs. This uh, matte shade is super sturdy though and I do love that shade. But anyway, you can sort of see the difference, but they've survived and they are beautiful. I do have a few videos already up on these that I'll link down below in the description box if you're interested. And I am keen to play with them a little bit more. Every time I've used the shimmers, I have been impressed. Anyway, the packaging for this was beautiful. The once This was a pre-order item, and once it was on its way, it was on its way. I think it was sent out last Thursday, and I got it yesterday, and I'm so excited. I was a bit tired because I was doing something. <laughs> I'll tell you about that another day. So I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I'm just going to put that on my lid, and then we'll do a randomizer and see where the new day leads us. All right, so we've got 15 beautiful shades to choose from. Let's uh, do six. That seems like a reasonable amount. All right, you ready for this? Number 10. Ooh, Sandra. Now, I do know this palette is in honor, memorial. It's honor of her mum, and I believe blue was her favorite shade. I know that the beautiful and talented at Nets Makeup Corner assisted with the creation of this palette. Ooh, flourish. So I'm super excited to play with it and I'm so excited to see Annette's video when she gets back. Number 14, Posey. Ooh, did you see that swatch? Number 5, Nectar. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I can't wait. Botanical. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Right, so what have we got? Oh, we can do one more. Number 1, Jasmine. I was kind of hoping for that shade Bloom. It just looks crazy. I'll show you. See, this is this one. Yeah, look how beautiful it is. And I'll just give it a swatch. Seriously? I'm looking forward to playing with this one. This is Bloom swatched. Uh, just to see how it goes. But we will do as the palette bigger gods have decided. So let's start it off with my posy. Oh, I should show you the shade, sorry. So these are handmade eyeshadows, and they are really nice. These are probably some of my favourite handmade eyeshadows that I have. Ooh. There is some kick up if that is the thing that bothers you. I'm not too worried, because that's how you get this kind of pigment. Alright, and then going into Nectar. Is this shadow here? I'm gonna put this on my outer corner. I'm sorry, but this was super predictable. What can I say? I'm a predictable kind of person. Then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that had the blue on, and I'm just gonna blend this purple out with it. It is a beautiful purple though, and it worked stunning. All right, and then I feel, let's just do it now. And put botanical, which is the shade of the middle, underneath my eyes. And I'm sorry if you can see that line of light sometimes. That is the sun. It's like only like 1. 1 p.m. here. I've just been busy cleaning this morning. Get my shit together and then I was excited to sit down and film this for you guys. Well, and I'm excited to play with this. I'm going to put Sandra, which is... So I feel like before I go in with the Sandra Rose shade, we should talk a little bit about it. But this palette has eight buttery smooth mattes, 
six intense metallics and one highly reflective shade which i'm pretty sure is that bloom shade it's 75 australian dollars or 52 us dollars it is now sold out but five dollars from each of these palettes going to starlight children's foundation australia and it is honor of her mum sandra and rose her daughter and blue was her mum's favorite color which is why this lovely blue sandra which I'm now going to put on my lid, is in this palette. Ah, beautiful. And then going in with Flourish, which is this lovely silver down here. So it does say that this palette is not for sale anymore, but oh my god, like, the world is missing out if this palette can't be owned by everyone so far, is my opinion. Let me know, did you pick this palette up? Do you think more should be made? I really think more should be made. Because then it's beautiful. Now, I feel like I want to try that bit where the people have been putting the, like, the bright shimmer underneath. Ooh. Not sure, but I did it. <laughs> Alright, and then for the inner corner, the obvious. Jasmine. Uh, like, white shimmer here. I mean, I could put the silver on, but either, either choice was obvious, I think. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I haven't had to wet any of these eyeshadows. They've just gone on beautifully. And I'm going to a little bit more of Posy, which is that teal from before. And I'm just going to blend out the tops of here. Man, because I love this blue. It's so pretty. All right, I'm going to go do some magic. I'm going to go put liner on, mascara, waterline, color, and return. All right, we've got things that have been applied to my eyes. I've got the, Kush, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. Just been testing this one out lately. I've got NYX Faux Whites in... I feel like it's White Smoke on my waterline. And NYX Epic Ink as my, like, wing. I tried to get them even. I really did. Anyway, here is the look up close. And I'm so sorry if you can hear my washing machine. What do you think? I kind of love it. <laughs> and no, like, so I really, I really love this palette. I love, there's so much versatility in here. I don't know. I'm so excited by this palette. And I'm so excited to play with it some more. And yeah, I'm so sad if people can't still get it. I really hope it comes back. I hope you guys show your love for this palette. <laughs> um, if you do like it, make sure to go check out any other creators that have bought this palette. It's it's a really small indie company, so it's really nice to see it being supported. Even if you are interested in buying it, like go support some yeah, like creators. And I'm super pumped. I'm excited to try and do like a three looks one palette with this. I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, so let me know what you think of this look. Let me know what you think of this palette. Let me know what you think of anything. Let me know if you want to see that new orange shade in action. I feel like my singles are in desperate need of like some more attention. We gotta do another makeup roulette soon. I like that the washing machine turns off. That's so silly. All right. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate your stay here. Thank you so much. Mm.